This is the stern piece to our mast raising and lowering gear. It's made from a length of 2x4 and bolts to the push pit with a washer and wing nut. The crossbar is held in place by cleats on either side of the top push pit bar, while the upright is restrained at the bottom end by a block of wood held in place by a bolt and a wing nut. At the upper end there are two uprights with a small roller in between. These two uprights restrain the mast while the roller allows the mast to slide in and out as needed. When the mast is initially lowered and is resting on this roller, it overhangs the stern by a considerable amount. Once you free the bottom of the mast from the mast step though, you can pull the mast forward over this roller until the bottom end of the mast rests on the bow pulpit. You then lift the stern out of this bracket and lay it on the push pit so you can tie it in place for trailering. We don't use this bracket for trailering as it stands way too high and puts too much of a load on the push pit. This is the second piece of our mast raising and lowering gear. It's ripped from a length of 2x4. One end of this strut fits the base of the mast here. The other end of the strut has two eye bolts in it. The top eye bolt is where the forestay is fastened to after it's removed from the stem fitting. The lower eye bolt has a four part block and tackle clipped to it. We bought this block and tackle at a local discount store and the only modification we made to it was to add a whole lot more line to give us enough scope to get the mast down to deck level. To use the mast raising and lowering gear, you first unclip the forestay from the stem fitting and clip it to the top eye bolt. You clip the bottom end of the block and tackle to the stem fitting where the forestay was. You can then begin paying out the line through the block and tackle and lowering the mast aft. Be careful though because once that mast gets beyond vertical it's very unstable side to side. We always station somebody in the cockpit or in a cabin top to guide it into the bracket as a stern. Once the mast is safely lowered, you can unfasten the mast from the mast step and pull it forward. You pull it all the way forward until the base of the mast rests on the bow pulpit and then lift the stern end of the mast out of the bracket and place it on the push pit. You can then tie it in place and make it ready for trailering. When our family was regularly trailer sailing the boat, we got to the point where we could launch and retrieve the boat including raising or lowering the mast in less than 20 minutes.